Hey gang, it's Tim. Thanks for joining. I wanted to talk today about growth and self-limiting beliefs. This is not self-help. This is, this is really uh, about you growing your agency more. So, so buckle in for just a minute. So I talk to an awful lot of, of smaller agencies. You know, so they're, they're one to five million in, in revenues kind of folks, or maybe even folks who are smaller than that. And they believe that they need to, they, that, they, that their best source of, of new business is referrals. And referrals are awesome because they tend to be really well qualified. You know, you don't have to do quite as much selling. They tend to close quicker and that's all great stuff. They may not fit your ideal customer profile, by the way, that's something to remember. Uh, but what happens as agencies start to grow, they get trapped by the need for referrals. And referrals are not scalable. You can't really control them. Though we will, we can talk about uh, uh, how we can. You can sort of amp up your referral activity, but you, but it's not controllable. You cannot. If you need to, if if you are in a trough and you really need to drive your business, you can't pull a lever and generate more referrals. Referrals are something that happen to your business, and they can be a really nice revenue stream, but. They're not something that you, can, uh, that you can amp up when you need to. They're not in your control. And that becomes a self-limiting belief because you imagine that you're stuck at a million dollars or $5 million or $300,000, whatever that number is, you're stuck because you're not getting good quality referrals. But then you think, okay, how do I, you know, how do I amp that up? How do I drive more referrals? Well, you don't, right? Referrals are a present that get given to you. Now, if you're very nice and you put a lot of great stuff out into the world, referrals can actually be a really wonderful, inexpensive cost of acquisition kind of marketing, but you can't rely on it. And so if you believe that you need to re rely on referrals to grow your business, you have limited the growth of your business. There is no way that you will be able to explode. There is no way that you will be able to get out of the owner operator trap that we talked about, which is basically you're, you're the owner operator and you get maxed out. You can't do a single more thing. Um, but if you're relying on referrals, you will always be stuck there because your referral network will not give you more referrals than you can handle because they don't want to make an introduction that they don't believe is going to be satisfied. So referrals become a self-limiting belief. Right? They, they, they put a cap on your agency. So what you really need to do to explode that, to get rid of that self-limiting belief is honor the referrals. Referrals are awesome. I'm not saying anything bad about them. But what you really need to do is focus as much as you can on the things that you can control, which would be your exposure, your advertising. You know, Most of you who are watching this are that you run some kind of advertising agency. You need to do the very things that you espouse that your customers do. You need to publish, you need to advertise, you need to create great converting landing pages, that sort of stuff. You need to create some sort of marketing program for yourselves because that explodes the self-limiting belief because then it comes that then the growth of your agency in many respects comes down to your skill and the investment you are willing to put into that marketing program. That is a much, much better bet than hoping that your accountant, whom you like really well and have, have dinner with once a month, thinks of you the next time they talk to a customer, right? It's much better to be in control of your own destiny. So throw away that limiting belief that your best customers come from referrals, because they don't. The best customers come from those ones that match your ideal customer profile and that you market and acquire on your own and do a great job in servicing because they can then become a referral source in the future, potentially, but they match everything that you want. And they've come through your process that you've developed from, from introduction to value proposition to onboarding. So they have, they have experienced the entirety of your, customer, uh, of your customer lifespan. So they are the customer that you can shape. You have less power over what you can do with the referrals. So keep the referrals but throw away the belief that they are your best customers because your very best customers will come from the customers that you acquire and retain on your own. Then, by the way, those customers, the staff from those customers might actually 
jump off and go work somewhere else and hire you with just a phone call. That's awesome. That you know that frequent flyer methodology is fantastic. That's different than a referral, right? That's you know, when someone when you have a frequent flyer, they are actually calling you back because you did a great job. So throw away the self limiting belief of referrals are my best business source. Know that your process, your skill as an advertising communications professional to drive qualified leads into your own process so that you can show them your value proposition, service them well, provide value for them, that's your best customer. So throw off the shackles. Don't be limited by things that have to happen to you like a referral. Take charge and invest time, money, effort, and love into driving in driving into the world to get your ideal customer. Thanks gang. We'll talk soon.